Hi, welcome to SOLIDWORKS 2020 video tutorial, the first part of the WW109 fighter plane, the initial setup of the references. So let's do a sketch on the front plane and go for a sketch picture. You can download that picture from my GrabCat account or you could download it from theblueprints.com. Recommended low resolution, high resolution. Let's go for high resolution, but that will take a while to import. And it took quite some time. So let's take a look. It should be here, yes it is, and now I want to position it and scale it. So I could go for transparency, user defined, and I want to scale it up to 39000 millimeter. Again, this will take a while. And then let's position it. You can drag it with your mouse to position you want. Let's zoom in. And I want it to be like this. And should I go for transparency? No. Let's confirm. And I've got my image right there. Now let's rename this plane here and call it main sketch plane. I want to go for a sketch as reference for my planes. So I want to do a sketch on the main sketch plane. Let's zoom in and I want to draw a rectangle which starts maybe here and goes to this line over there. This should be for construction and that line should be for construction. Now let's add some lines and maybe adjust them afterwards. So one line here, select, maybe I can copy it. So go from control C, control V and just move it. Control V Control V That's quite interesting. So can I move it up like that? Yes. And position it then another control V. This should be here. Another one, control V. Let's move it over there. Control V. <laughs> That's interesting. How it changes the length. Control V. Another control V. And the last one. OK, 
okay so now let's adjust those lines a little bit let's zoom in i think that's okay this one should go a little bit to the right maybe and make it longer this one's okay that one's okay this may be a little bit to the left that's okay this one a little bit to the right sorry did too much different programs so i have to get adjusted to that mouse control here again so because it's definitely different to the other programs which i did the last few days that would be okay maybe this one a little bit to the left and that one should be okay yeah that's okay now let's try to trim those elements so go for trim entities and like that and this one here those come on okay close the command and finish that sketch so let's rename those here that would be the image sketch oh wrong you should spell it correct and this would be the plain reference sketch plain reference sketch now for my planes let's see which one we could take which type of planes uh, my planes here they are go for a plane and let's go for first reference would be the right plane possibly right plane and then a line like this and it should be perpendicular to the reference no it should be parallel sorry so it would be parallel current combination of reference and constraints are not valid that's amazing so let's deactivate this and if i go for a reference plane and use as first reference the main sketch plane and a second reference that line here now it would be perpendicular no now it's coincident and perpendicular that's okay and confirm let's take a look this looks good so go for the next one plane this should be not referenced so i want to go again for that main sketch plane and the second line 
confirm it's kind of tedious to do but now let's go again for that main sketch plane and the third line now go for another one again that sketch plane the next line that's real kind of annoying the whole process now i've got four so it would be the fifth line sixth line maybe let's go for this one first and then select this one now that would be this one here G then H then J then K then L then M And the last one, with this line, and confirm. So I've got all those planes here, and of course I should rename them. So let's go to this one. This would be A. B C D E F G H J K it's really very slow L and M okay Let's put those planes into a folder. And that would be the section planes. And maybe not with caps lock on, but like this. I will need a sort of split plane up there so that would be a parallel one to the top plane let's see if we can put it right there and of course I want to hide those planes and also hide that sketch 
great. So I need another plane and therefore I should make a sketch because it's easy to do. So let's do a sketch on the main sketch plane and just draw a line up here. So go for a line, maybe like that. And move it here like this. That's okay. Leave that sketch. And now go for that plane. So I need a reference geometry, another plane. And first one would be my main sketch plane, this one, and now go for that line here, maybe the orientation, it doesn't matter, the orientation doesn't matter, so just confirm, hide that sketch here, and call this one split plane. Okay, then I need planes for the wings. So let's do another, let's close this one, go for another sketch here, draw again some lines. So one line would be around here, another one over there. and one here and another one maybe just there let's zoom in and move that a little bit to the left like this check those so maybe a little bit to the left as well and also this one okay let's go for a normal view and add some dimensions so this distance is about 611, so I go for 610. And then that distance would be, no, I don't want this one. So let's undo. From this, not from this line, but from that point here to this line. For two five five, then that's about one three six. So I'll go for one three five, and the last one. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, five. Leave that sketch. And I could delete it. Yes. And now I need planes with an offset to the main sketch plane. So let's turn this a little bit around, go for a plane and it should have a distance to the main sketch plane and it should not be perpendicular it should be parallel and the distance
should be for the first one 610 Let's take a look that's the correct direction confirm next one again distance to the main sketch plane and that distance would be 4255 confirm another one And this would be one three five parallel, of course, confirm. Input is incomplete, really. It's parallel to the main sketch plane, and it should have a distance of one three five. looks okay and the last one again to the main sketch plane and that distance would be one two three five and it should be parallel and confirm so let's rename them this would be an inner one, this would be an outer one, this would be an inner one, and that would be an outer one, and it seems I'm writing too fast. the name already exists so oh, you really in a let's call this two and that one out there two as well put those into a folder wing planes And those two into a folder rudder planes. Okay. And maybe hide those planes. And that's the sketch up there, that's okay. So let's draw a new sketch on the main sketch plane. And let's see if we use splines or arcs. So let's go for an arc, not a tangent one, but a three point arc. Let's start here. Start point end point somewhere over here and yeah that's okay maybe move this a little bit Yeah, sometimes the spline handling is better, sometimes the, the arc handling is better. So 
So I would have to fix this point to get it aligned, but that's possible. So fix this point and then I could move and adjust this one a little bit better. Yeah, maybe like that. Yeah. Okay, another arc which should start somewhere over here. Go to this point and should look something like this. Again, let's adjust this a little bit. Maybe like this. And maybe move this up a little bit. Yeah, this looks good. And another arc. which starts maybe here, goes over there and like this. This looks pretty good. I can live with that and leave that sketch. So that would be the main body sketch. For reference. Now I want to do three extrudes. I could hide that image sketch for the moment and I can also hide that split plane. Let's go for a surface extrude. with this arc, turn it around, make it maybe 100. Confirm. Then go for another extrude with this one. Again, turn it around. 100 would be okay. Confirm. And the last one with that sketch here, again turn it around and confirm. So maybe put those three into a folder and call this one limit surfaces, boundary surfaces, boundary or the main body, main body boundary. Okay, so that's for this part. Hope it was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook fan page. It would be very nice if you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the second part. Bye bye.